Hello everyone and welcome to part 14 of the Skyline build. During this video we'll be working on, well, adding the first layer of plasticine to this little clay car, drawing this project close to an end. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well, and thank you for tuning in to Moose Motion. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed the content, comment below what you think, share with your friends, and perhaps consider subscribing if you're new, and be sure you have your post notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new content. Anyway, thank you for your support, it's highly appreciated. We're going to first start off with, well, doing a new strut tower bar. For, well, for one, I kind of broke the old one. And, well, secondly, it didn't exactly work very well with the hood alignment. So what we're going to do is basically design a different one, bending the armature wire essentially all the way to the back, touching the firewall, connecting the strut tower bars essentially together, as well as together to the actual firewall, being, well, actually probably a better strut tower brace than what we originally had before, as well as it looks a lot better and it, well, functions and actually makes the hood able to close instead of sitting awkwardly on top of, well, the strut tower bar. Plus, it only makes sense to get all of the little mechanical components out of the way first, basically before adding all the plasticine, because once you start doing that, well, your time handling it is kind of limited because the clay gets warm and then it starts losing its shape. Not only that, well, your hands also have to be extremely clean during that entire process, and any cross-contamination with different colors of clay basically means you have to wash your hands in between every single color swap, so in order to avoid that, I generally try to do, well, all the little mechanical components first, and then, well, obviously add in the plasticine layer very last. And then once this little strut tower bar is all done being made, we can throw it in the oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit or 135 degrees Celsius, which is what I use all my temperatures at for my oven baked clay, and then glue it, paint it in place, and then once that's done, we can move on to adding the red plaster scene, which is my personal favorite step of, well, these little clay cars, mainly because, well, for one, it means you're close to the end of the actual project, and two, well, I personally really like plaster scene and I've been playing with it for probably 25 plus years at this point. Way more than, yeah, I've done just about anything else in my entire life. So, yeah, I'm quite comfortable working with that stuff and I do find it a lot of fun. The oven bake stuff I don't mind as much, but it can be a little tedious in comparison to the plasticine. However, the nice thing about the oven bake stuff is that, well, once you bake it, it basically retains its shape forever. However, plasticine tends to, well, stay soft. And one thing that I must admit is very handy for, well, this process is having a pasta roller. So that way you can roll out nice even sheets for your clay cars. And, well, that way it minimizes the amount of time you have to rake and, well, make everything nice and even on the actual body. That way you can just, well, run it through a pasta roller, stick it on, and make sure your layers are basically, well, retained to the actual body shape. Now, at this point, there really isn't too much for me to commentary on, apart from, well, cut your strips and press them onto the body and then just kind of lightly shape them and cut them into, well, the cording shapes needed for whatever body panel you're essentially working on. It's fairly straightforward for sculpting stuff when, well, tools will be coming in handy, obviously, but the main part of this one will be a lot of your hands. But the other tools that I'll be using will be a small scalpel, a little rake, and, well, probably using a lot of rubber sculpting tools for those finer details to help, well, clean things up where your fingers basically can't get. And the other big thing I would basically emphasize on is make sure your hands are clean. Now, this was kind of an important step for me mainly because, well, I work trade jobs during the day mostly, so my hands get pretty dirty. Plus, this video was a little uploaded later than usual due to the fact that my, well, daily driver was having some issues, so I had to fix the brakes this weekend and do a whole bunch of other work on it because, well, it's springtime where I am in Canada, so things are actually kind of, well nice out it's no longer minus 40 so i can be outside and work on vehicles again so that's kind of nice so i do apologize for the later than usual upload but we're back to normal scheduling probably this week i'm hoping and this car should be 
pretty much done at this point during this video i do not finish it unfortunately i was kind of hoping i would have more time than i did but unfortunately life happens and well the little clay sculpture had to be kind of put off to the side for a bit anyway if you are just tuning into this well channel be sure to check out the links in the post description there you will find well links to my other car builds as well as the build to this little clay car as well as some animations as well if you appreciate all my hard work that I put into these little clay sculptures that are literally rolling sculptures, be sure to hit that like button, comment below what you think of the project, perhaps consider sharing with your friends, and well, subscribe if you're new. That would be awesome too to get my subscriber count just up a little bit more because well, this stuff takes a lot of time. It generally takes onwards of about 100 hours or so to make one of these little clay sculptures. So it takes a lot of time and dedication and well, I've been doing it for a long time. And there's a lot of text to help you along with the tutorial as well. So that point, if you're well, curious on how things are done, just follow along with the text and perhaps sculpt along with me. Because I know there's a few of you out there who are making little clay car model engines, which is pretty cool. I'm glad that I've well, made a slight inspiration on the car world and people are doing things perhaps a little bit different than just, well, buying the regular car model kits that you get. Because, well, it's a little more fun to be able to sculpt whatever it is you essentially want. That is the one, well benefit to doing this yes you do have to take a lot of time and effort into sculpting your project but in the end you can make it however you like it now be sure to keep your eyes peeled for milton the moose as well and for those of you who are new or perhaps just tuning in he is the goofy looking moose character which is essentially well the profile picture for lack of a better term for the youtube channel and for those of you who are aware well he generally showed at uh, generally just shows up during some time in the video and if you timestamp directly when he shows up you will get your comment pinned at the top of the comment section as well as a shout out in the next how to video speaking of which congratulations to tiger hd or well having very sharp set of eyes at any rate that's enough for me for now i will talk to you towards the end of the video giving you a, a quick brief rundown on what we did during this video during the build rundown as well as what will be taking place next time at any rate thank you for watching
And here we are at the end of the video with a mostly bright red skyline at this point. And by mostly, I know the roof is clearly still not covered with plasticine. Now that's generally a strategic thing on my behalf, which I like to do. I like to save that part for very last because, well, once you start working in all the details and stuff like that, it's nice to have at least one solid point to put your hand where you're not concerned about wrecking the rest of the sculpture and the rest of your details that you've worked so hard on well, to get to this point. And speaking of details, what we'll be doing for next time is probably adding on some more plasticine and taking it away from certain areas, essentially fine-tuning the sculpture and high even low spots making it well look more like a skyline than it does now because right now it kind of looks well pretty basic shaped it's a bit of a blob still at this point although it does look a lot better in appearance than well it did before when it was just about well, the basic red frame but there's still quite a bit of luck that quite a bit of work to go at any rate be sure you have your post notifications turned on so you do not miss that so you've made it this far in the video be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the content comment below what you think share with your friends and perhaps consider subscribe if you're new. Anyway, that's enough for me. Till next time, take it easy.